Hey, what's going on people? Pizza Lake with here. And in today's video, I'm gonna find out where the MacBook Air 2020 M1 chip is good enough for video editing with Premiere Pro. And if this laptop could be the only video editing platform that you can use. So without further ado, let's go to it and check it out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is to upload some videos by clicking on import media. And from here, I'm gonna choose the video that I would like to import uh, to the project that we have. So I'm gonna click on these two and that one. And now so I'm gonna upload a music. So let's import. And this took me probably less than a second to import those four files, which is pretty uh, impressive so far. So let's just add them to the timeline. I'm gonna add which one first. I'm gonna add this one first, then Gonna be followed by that one and this one gonna be my last one just gonna put it over there I'm just gonna delete those audio tracks because i've got mine and i'm just gonna upload the audio track okay so far so good uh it feels really smooth and it doesn't have any problems so far so let's just uh, scrub through the timeline to see how it feels okay Right, as you can see, it doesn't have any problems so far by scrubbing uh, through the timeline because sometimes when you scrub through the timeline, you might experience or you might notice that there is some kind of lagging. But with this laptop so far, there is not such a thing. So let's do some cutting. I'm just gonna cut over here and I'm gonna cut over here and here. Just gonna delete, okay. Gonna delete this one as well. And this one, all right. Let's just play it. And bear in mind that the preview window over there is on full, which means that I'm seeing the videos in their full capacity, which in that case it's 4K resolution. And when I play it, as you can see. It uh, feels perfect. Let me just zoom the screen so you can see it better. There you go. No problem at all. I guess the only negative thing so far is the small screen, but we can't expect more from a 40 inches screen. So let's uh, just add some text tweets and create some graphics by uh, using the rectangle too. I'm just gonna drag a rectangle over there something like this and also i just want to add some text over here just gonna write london like that with big letters and i'm gonna place london over the graphic over here okay just gonna drag text over here and also i'm gonna use a king effect i'm just gonna go to effects and i already typed it over there so I just gonna drag this effect over this graphic the shape graphic the rectangle graphic and from here I'm gonna go to the effect control and choose video 3 and click on reverse so let's animate it a little bit like gonna move this shape a little bit further down like that and just a little bit more like this and what I'm gonna do gonna put it further down like that and also I'm gonna move the text over there and now I'm just gonna animate it I'm gonna go to the shape to the rectangle shape and go to position and I'm gonna create a keyframe but before that I want to put those two graphics to the beginning of the video and again I'm gonna go to the rectangle graphic and down to positioning and I don't want it to appear in, at the beginning of the video. So I'm going to create a keyframe. Just going to click on the keyframe and move it down like that. And press the right arrow three times. One, two, three. And then I want to create my next keyframe, which is over here like that. And it looks pretty cool, to be honest. And also I want to create another two keyframes, one, two, 
So to create another keyframe here, by clicking there. And now I want the text to disappear. So I just gonna create my fourth keyframe, which gonna be town of can. Okay, so let's see what happened. Okay, that's too quick, so I'm just gonna move my last keyframe somewhere over here. Okay, much better. So let's add some transitioning to the videos. Let's choose the slight effects and from there I'm gonna go to push and put it over here. I also want to make this video shorter, so I'm gonna cut it over here and delete it. We put delete so we can shorten it. Let's see. I'm just gonna cut this video as well a little bit more. We put leads like that and add transition as well. This time I want to split it. I'm gonna add it here and like that. Nice. Let's play it from the beginning. Cool. So smooth. Great, so the only thing left to be done is just to render the video and see how long this is gonna take. So let's render it. Let's go to files and export media. And now we're gonna export a video in 4K format. It's gonna go down to, where is YouTube? There you go, it's over there and export. That's it guys, we saw that this machine can deal with Premiere Pro without any problems, despite the specs that uh, this laptop has. And a lot of people are saying that if you want a good video editing laptop, you must go for a 16 gigabyte RAM. But also this Mac Air 2020 M1 chip with a gigabyte RAM memory, it's amazing. And without problem, we'll deal with whatever you throw at it. And as you can see, it's really easy to edit videos with this laptop and there is no problems at all. So thank you for watching guys and if you think that I have shared some value with this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you again and I'll see you next time.